pajamas. Those two lizards out on the windowsill. You think they're so innocent, the moment you turn your head, the other pulls out a gun. <laughs> Choose the other. That's for my pappy. <laughs> and, 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 and all the rest of them are building a town. Oh, building, they're, they're, yeah. they're, they're building casinos <laughs> and old <hotels>, tentacles <laughs> all in the backyard. Yeah. <laughs> or if you have cats, they're trying to eat your cheeseburgers. <laughs> I know, I can tell you. This is a weird ass movie, man. I mean, it's very surreal in certain parts. You know what? If there's anything I, I the thing I love most about this movie, I mean, you know, this this not being a Pixar movie, not only does the animation right up there with Pixar, but it does something that Pixar never does, and that it's not afraid to get weird. It, it's like Gore Verbinski got lost in the desert and had these visions again. <laughs> I can say, like, I know what movie I'm doing, I, and nobody's I, stopping me. I, I want to go back and start this movie again, but take mushrooms first. Oh, no, yeah, no, it, it, it is the Western as if it smokes some shit. And by mythic Western, I mean, a lot of people would want to compare this to a spaghetti Western. Johnny Depp plays a pet chameleon who does wear clothes while his owners don't realize this or recognize this. I don't know. <laughs> he probably wants to put the clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's cute. Yeah, first it's cats, now people are dressed up lizards. Fate comes in. They're riding on the road, his aquarium is flying out the window. He wanders off into the desert where he meets this one lizard named Beans, who looks a lot like Susan Sarandon, and she picks him up and takes him to this town. Now, when he goes to this town, no one knows him, so he starts lying and talking about how much of a badass he is. It's sort of like the I kill seven with one blow type story, you know? Yeah. I kill the biggest, baddest people who came to this town with one bullet. Everybody believes him. Next thing you know, he's a sheriff in the town. Of course, being a sheriff, he has to take on every new adversary our hurdle that's thrown his way. And let us not also fail to mention that this is a town of animals who also dress in clothes, but manage to like build little buildings out of wood. It's funny that this baffles you so much. It, 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 it's, it, you can't wrap your head around the whole idea that there's a cartoon yeah. with animals that wear clothes it's, and have it's like when you they, they are talking to them. This is uh, the character designs that you're seeing are so unique. I mean, they've captured not only, they weren't afraid to not only not make anything cute in this, but they've captured all the grittiness that you would see in a Western. You can tell, like, Gore Verbinski, he is, you know, he, he's pretty much making a, a love letter to those Westerns that, yeah. you know, obviously, he loves. This is one of those few exceptions in the CG mm -hmm. film. There's lots of others we see, like Shrek or whatever, we go, okay, it's yeah, not it's close on, enough, but it's, it's really good. And this is one of those films that is at that level. It is. I mean, golly, I, I guarantee you, Pixar is wishing they could have worked on this film, wishing that their stamp was on this film because how do you honestly, know what Pixar was? I know, I, I just know these things. It's not a safe movie. You, you you get characters who die early on in the film, so you know that you can't just re think like, oh, it's nothing's gonna happen to these people. 